as uh, we continue our conversation regarding the state of the city and um, mayor, we're, let's talk a little bit about safety forces and crime. Everyone wants to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, it's a big piece. It's one of the larger pieces when you talk to somebody, they want to make sure no matter where they live, they the feel safety. safe. Safety. And, and overall, um, the uh, Chief Davis and his team, the crime numbers are down. Uh, and when I say down, it's hard, you know, they tell you that it's hard for me to even mm -hmm. let that come out of my mouth because if it's, you know, I'm, I'm a realist that you're going to have zero. One is too many. Yes, one is too many. Yeah. Uh, but when you can start seeing the trends <clears throat> trending down um, and you can say, well, you know, the neighborhoods that used to be, you know, very unsafe are now safe. Uh, and the other issue that we're, we're, we're wrestling with is, is the recruitment of for law enforcement, getting individuals who want to come into law enforcement. And uh, police and fire are one of our where we have the highest recidivism rate. You know, individuals, sure. you know, they're retiring, they're going out. The drop program was great for us for years and years, but now those who were entered the drop program have to make their mandate <coughs> Excuse me. To, to leave. Um, so we're doing, we're doing more with less. Um, we're doing more with, um, with less officers, but also economically we're getting, we're getting state funded. We're doing our, our state project. One of our greatest partnerships is, is through the state, you know, Department of Safety uh, with the governor's office. And, I can remember uh, Chief Davis and I about two years ago went to the governor's mansion for a group of mayors and their chiefs of police, and he asked, "What do we need?" We said, "We need a, a bigger partnership and a better presence." And uh, when you so you when you see the saturation patrols, when you see the helicopters out in the community, you'd be amazed that people say, "Well, that's not going to deter crime." You'd be amazed the cars that we stop, the individuals that have mm -hmm. guns, illegal weapons, and many of them either they were on their way to commit a crime or coming Come from, from committing a crime. And that kind of, it's now it kind of gets to them a point of say, maybe I shouldn't, you know. So overall crime, when we look at our numbers, even um, I say this and, and, you know, I ask, ask, you know, how do you benchmark? We have a, a, a solving our homicides. One thing to have one. And then you want to give the family a little, you know, closure. Uh, closure and, and so we, we solve it. Not that it's going to give them any, bring their loved one back. Just sometimes just knowing what happened and that somebody's responsible that we found them. So our numbers are up for solving the earth. And realizing, too, that safety and the judicial system were a major part of your yeah. budget. Yeah. I think sometimes as community citizens paying taxes, we forget the cost, yeah. the high cost, not only in the prevention, but the incarceration where uh, in housing individual in the city yeah. is not very cheap. No, law enforcement is not. You know, it's, it's the, you know, people, it's, it's, the, line, it's the, the larger portion of our, our budget, but it's at the end of the day, you know, I, there's no, I can't put a, a number on what your, your safety will cost me. Sure. I just know that whatever it is, it's I will It's a priority. Pay it. It's a priority. So we continue to put it on there. You know, we have individuals who will work overtime because we don't have the numbers for, for officers, but at the end of the day, I'd rather have that officer working overtime and not to fill that patrol car and that beat. Got the challenge. Yes. Once again, I thank you for joining me. We continue this conversation. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.